Basically, as you get older, you, you know, you resist the flesh because the flesh resists you. <laughs> now, a lot of you who uh, feel like you have trouble with lust now, just, just wait for a few years. Believe me, it won't bother you anymore. <laughs> And those of you with, who have substance abuse problems, no worries. Eventually, uh, the Lord will work it out. I know that's a bold statement, but the Lord will work it out. And you can't, it's absolutely normal to want to get yourself um, into escape mode using substances. Uh, I would I would think a person that, that would not want to escape would be, you know, he'd be extraordinary if he really knew reality. But most of these people are living in a kind of a fool's paradise anyway. They don't really see the world for what it is. So hence, there's no need to escape. A lot of the church people, they're kind of living in this hypnotic delusion. And they have like a little Disneyland there with their church. And they feel that that's kept them from all, you know, that that kind of group think and hive mind behavior is going to keep them from. I've seen the same thing on the left with the leftist globalist uh, elites or whatever, they, they go, oh, I only had two drinks last night. You know, like they have control over alcohol and all that. It's because they're getting some kind of euphoria off the uh, flesh trade, the, the soul trade, you know, and uh, that becomes like a drug for them. So they can have two drinks and they can be very satisfied because they're getting satisfied. Their cup is being filled up by another thing that's despicable to God, understand? That means if you do that, you are cut off from God and you have no connection with God whatsoever and you're not in the Lamb's Book of Life, never were, never will be. There is no salvation. Next, please. Most of humanity will further perish. And the nuggets... The cream will be taken off the top for God's pleasure and his happiness because your pleasure, your happiness is really um, irrelevant because you, you're, you're irrelevant um, unless you are identified in the I am. If you are in the I am, then you are relevant as I am, not as you. So therefore, it's all about him, not you. Okay, so in this sense, you should find profound peace. You should be able to die, you know, knowing that you are, I am with God and they are not. And knowing that in the end, perfect justice will be meted out. In other words, they're not going where you're going. And so when you're coming into death, you at least know that, that you're going somewhere they're not, that there will be a justice for those who harmed you. Even though in the end, your, your compassionate soul will cry out for, isn't there another chance for them? And the Lord will tell you as he takes you into death and into the next realm, he'll tell you, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's not for you to worry about. Come with me. And I, what I'm going to show you is so awesome that you're not even going to think back on your terrestrial life or want to go there again. You're going to want to come with me. And the holy angels will come take you away. God comes as a person to, to take you away like your father. You know, the, Jesus is right there as, as, as your beloved uh, high priest. And you just, you know, you just together with your family, with your people, with your life. There, you, there's no looking back. You see, this world is a test to see if we will look back like Lot's wife, if we will look back and lament, and plenty of us have. I've often wondered what my life would be had I gone with the way of the world and, and um, well, the, you know, the, actually that was not possible because the world rejected me when I was five. When I was five, I was told, I was told you know, I was, I was prophesied over, um, you know, you will never be acceptable. You know, this, no matter what you do, say, think, no matter how much you want to be, it's like Pinocchio, right? No matter, you know, wanting to be a real boy, right? No matter how much you want to be one of them, you will never be one of them. And, you know, you, the, the walking and overcoming means to stand up and say, I'm cool with that. I am proud of that. And so in a sense, I had the same treatment as John the Baptist. I had to be put out, you know, in, in the wilderness in another form, but in another way. Because, you know, um, just as John the Baptist never went through any, the only, um, uh, he, he did not jump through man's hoops. He did not become initiated into man's groups. He did not become a man in, um, in man's terms by embracing his flesh or whatever kind of, um, or sticking his head up his ass or whatever kind of thing they want you to do. Uh, he was completely of God from the beginning. And, you know, he paid a price and Jesus paid a price. But there'll be a time when there is no price to pay. 
you know, they kill. I, look what they're trying to do with this guy in Norway. They're trying to make him, uh, you know, the the the, the a, a, a sort of uh, you know a psyop to gather in. You know, they're going to come for you. In other words, and the people that are um, who were conformed to the world, who did jump through man's hoops, who did become initiated, who did, but still didn't really fit. You know, who who did work their way up in the system, who would, would be considered a, a worldly man, a worldly woman. You know. Uh, but then we're converted to Christ. No problem. You're the same. There's no difference between you and me. History doesn't mean... There's no meritocracy here. I'm not above you, you know. I mean, I may be more conscious of, you know, it may have been a longer journey, but I'm no different than you. In other words, you and I are the same. You know, once you've embraced Christ and he's embraced you and that consummation has taken place, that's the initiation into the spirit. That, to me, means you really are a man or a woman. Because I think a man or a woman, in, in flesh terms, is like Esau. Esau was a man's man. He was a real big, strong man. You know, he came out, he had concubines, he had, you know... <laughs> um, he was uh, proud of himself, you know. And um, he had all the things of the world, you know. He, uh, he, he definitely... Um, you know, people would see him as a great hunter, you know, a man's man, right? But he was hated of God. God actually hated him and loved his brother Jacob, but hated Esau. And, uh, you know, stated a couple of times in the Bible, you know, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I hate. And I hate Esau because he is a man of the world. So those of you who don't feel quite too manly in the world, you know, like you're not, you know, you're kind of a wimp in the world or, you know, you're not really gathering all the toys or winning all the wars or you know what I mean they're, they're looking down on you like a fool no worries God loves you all the more because of that those of you not conformed to the world who have managed to escape that and still live um, he loves you more than anything as precious gold as precious stones um, you're the most rare therefore the most precious to him and he senses all his forces of holy angels to take care of you. Those of you who dabbled in the world but didn't belong there, you're the prodigal sons and daughters. A big feast is laid out for you when you return home, you see. Never leave again. There's nothing in the world. The world is dying. Idiots run it. I mean, total, I mean, inept, spiritually inept, spiritually dead, no knowledge, no, no vision, no prophecy, no nothing. Their sorcerers have all failed them. Their astrologers have all failed them. They're blind as a bat like Hillary Clinton, just blind, deaf, and dumb like she is. She's like a spiritual Helen Keller. Not, I mean, that's too virtuous for her. She's um, a witch who does not have any vision of what she, the world, or anything. It's just go, 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 eat, 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 you know, flesh, eat, go, go, flesh, eat, power, more. That's it. There is nothing else there. It's sad but true that the elites are the scum and the scum are the elites. It's sad but true that, you know, that the, that the lowest are the highest and the highest are the lowest. It's sad but true that the people that think they got it going on are failures and the people that think they're losers, like you. You think you're a loser. You're not proud of yourself. You hide your face. I know you. You hide your face. Because you're ashamed. Because you didn't quite measure up. And now you don't think you measure up to God either. So now you're a failure in the world and a failure to God. And maybe you're on drugs. And, you know, I want you to know you are beloved of the Lord. He loves you. And you are a total success with God right now. You don't need to hide your face ever again. It's them they should hide their faces from you. Don't you understand? You know, it's understood that you would be embattled. It's understood that you would be scarred. It's understood that you would have, you know, but the, the thing is you lived. You lived when you shouldn't have lived. You beat the odds. And, and I know you're ashamed because you feel you should have been so much more. But understand, there's only one measure of a man. Only one measure of a man here on this earth. The overcomer and the one who doesn't overcome. The one who gives in and the one who overcomes. That's it. If you, sir, have overcome, 
you know, you're you're using the 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 the, the church paradigm. The, the the I sound like Obama. Uh, 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 the, 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 yeah, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. <laughs> I lie, so I have to uh, uh, sound so intellectual. Uh, and <laughs> oh God, spare me. No, those of us who do prophesy, I try to leave, put on with me when I say prophesy. It's, I'm just going to say little p. Because there are too many big time prophets out there. They're big time, baby. Big time prophets out there. I know who they are. I see the professional prophets and I just cringe at the hierarchy of man. He wants a higher. Somebody told me the other day that because I, I, if I didn't have a beard or I don't, I don't even know what it was. If I didn't say the names of Christ, if I didn't conform to a certain thing that I would be like a lawn mow. I would just be mowing the lawn in heaven. And I was like, that's fine, my friend. In fact, let me do the latrine work. <laughs> in church, I volunteered for being a janitor. That was, I had no other aspiration. How low can you go, you know? And they, I got kicked out of that for, uh, because they, want, they didn't want anyone in the church who was not conformed to the world and who would not toe the line and not get in their line and not obey what they said and not, you know what I mean? And they didn't want anyone who knew the Bible and they didn't want, you know what I mean? They just They just wanted like, something they could control because they themselves were satanic and they were robotoid and they're evil and they're in Encino, California just sitting there after having threatened me thinking that I would have forgotten that. But I recall how they threatened my life. I recall how they said, you either get in line or you'll be picked off. And I got that right from the pastor who was himself having this big sheen basking over him. He just got done with a ritual uh, behind closed doors with, uh, I don't know, and he was also a pedophile, I believe. And, um, you know, he, he had this whole pedophile network going where he wanted, you know, he was trying to get people to, yeah, I don't even know what he was doing, but he's, it's just icky, awful pervert. And he runs a big church. Yeah. And no matter how much I say that, or I prove my point there, will they ever pick him up or arrest him? No, because it's all part of the system. It's all approved of in the system. It's the underneath underbelly of the United States of America. And it's so long as that's there, God is not going to smile on this nation. Again, more prophecy, little p. He will not smile on the nation, but he's not going to give it a slam dunk like the professional big p prophets have said. It's all over. Yeah, he's not going to do that either because he's got too many. There's a lot of lambs here. I see a few online. You know, I see a few. And I know their lives are hard. And I'm sorry it hurts. I'm sorry the world rejects you. I'm sorry the world laughs at anything you have to say. As Art Bell said so astutely to me on the air, the friends I know who are Satanists, quote unquote, laugh, he said, at the lambs. <laughs> oh, I'm so grateful. If I just went on the show once just for that one thing, just to hear that one sentence, it gave me all the comfort in the world to know that I had been right all along. That there had been this, this thing all along just like that. And I will say, those who are laughing now, as Jesus might say, and Jesus wants me to say this, those who are laughing now won't be laughing later. Guaranteed! And on that day, as it says in the book of Jude, there will be some people you can pull out by fire. But in general, like it says in Ezekiel, they're already marked, you know, the ones who are marked uh, to live and the ones who are marked for death, it's already decided. Therefore, you just need to inquire of the Lord of all things. You who are upset with your drug taking, I keep getting this drugs. You've got to seek the Lord for the solution. And, you know, you've got to take your drugs in front of Yes, Lord, I'm doing this Valium or whatever it is you're taking. I don't know what it is. Yes, Lord, I'm having a drink. Yeah, you know, include him in it and say, I'm in pain, Lord. Or yes, Lord, I feel this perversion. I feel this lust in my body. You know, I'm doing it. Help. I don't like it. I'm embarrassed, but here it is. Bring him in. Bring the God Almighty Father, creator of everything, heaven and earth. He knows you struggle with those things. And he knows you don't want to be that, this or that, that you think is. But you, he doesn't want you to, to beat yourselves up and prejudge yourselves and send yourselves to hell and have a life of hell. He wants to give you the